friends, welcome to my channel, V Swain's Shoebox Sundays. I thought I would get going here this morning and record this video before the cicadas in my backyard really get rubbed up for the day. I'd like to show you this box that I packed for Operation Christmas Child for a boy in the age range of 10 to 14. A couple weeks ago, I asked what age and gender uh, you would all like to see here on my YouTube channel. And most people responded two to fours and 10 to 14s without really specifying a gender. But one sweet supportive viewer said that she would like to see 10 to 14 boy boxes without soccer balls. She said she packs a lot of soccer balls and she's always thinking of and trying to get new and fresh ideas for boxes other than soccer balls so that wasn't really that hard for me to come up with one because i've only packed one 10 to 14 boy box with a soccer ball this one is a star wars themed shoe box and i'll just say at the outset operation christmas child has given the thumbs up to star wars and I'd also like to say that Operation Christmas Child will accept any reasonably sized shoebox. So this one is a little bit bigger because I have some bigger, bulkier items in this box. And I wanted to pack all these items together in the same box. It's kind of my splurge wow box of the year. And I'd also like to thank my friend Trish. Her channel is Birdfeed because she gave me this larger box uh, along with a few others. Uh, we traded, I gave her some boxes I had that she wanted and she gave me some bigger boxes that she had. I love this box. I think the boy who receives this box will love it too. So when he opens his lid, he will see this coloring page. I have other coloring pages in the box. They are from a Mandalorian coloring pages book and I was going to color this but it's so detailed and decided it would take me forever so along with the pages inside the box he can color the page on the lid of, that I've been here to the lid of his box as well and then I added the phrase up here in my own handwriting Jesus loves you right on top he's going to see his school supplies some of his school supplies. I also have a math kit in the box that has some school supplies in it. A toothbrush with a cap. And he has just this little stuffy that I got in a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. It's actually a Captain America Marvel toy. But this one is Falcon. Looks like he has like airplane or spaceship wings there. And I love that because the spaceship in the original Star Wars. The famous spaceship is the Millennium Falcon. So I love that little stuffy and I wanted to give him something soft. He has a small box of crayons. He has some extra batteries for his items in the box and a little Phillips screwdriver as well. He has a card with a note and photo inside the card and it on the cover of the card, I adhered some packaging that's Grogu there holding a frog. So here's his math kit, and it came with all these great supplies inside. It has 10 pieces. It's a Wexford brand. It came with a pencil compass, a pencil, a lead compass, a lead refill, eraser, pencil sharpener, six inch ruler, protractor, 45 degree angle triangle, and a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Yeah, I've showed this before in a haul video. This is a bop -It toy. It's Darth Vader. It's a bop -It toy. And so you press his head and then the toy tells you what this is. You pull on his arm for pull it. You move his lightsaber here to twist it, and then you press on the top of his head when he says bop it. I'll just give a, a little demonstration in case you didn't see my haul video. I want to know the power of the dark side. 
Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. So I included a piece of the packaging so he knows so he knows how to bop it, twist it, pull it, and then this little instruction booklet. Okay, he has this Star Wars Meet the Heroes hardcover book that I got at the store Ollie's. Uh, it has all the original Star Wars characters and explains a little bit about them. There's a lot of R2-D2 in here and C-3PO and the other characters, Princess Leia. I mean, I really love that book. It was only $1.99. Perfect for this box. He has some colored pencils to go along with his crayons. He has this Star Wars mini string lights, LED lights, and this is one of the items that takes batteries, and the Boppet also takes batteries. Okay, so here's his nice pencil sharpener. He has a pair of underwear. These are just boxers. They are men's size small, but they're real, real nice, a, a great color. He has a whistle on a wrist lanyard, purple whistle. He has a hygiene pack here with soap, band-aids, lip balm, a nail clipper, a nail file, and I also tucked in two uh, Star Wars themed ink pens. I thought they'd fit in here and they did, so I tuck them in there because with the ink pens you never know. You wouldn't want them to break and get ink all over everything in the box. One has Mandalorian, one has uh, Grogu on it. So I love those pens. I, I don't remember where I got those but I love those in this box. He has this little McDonald's toy which is Darth Vader and I'm not really sure what this is supposed to do. All The, the only thing I've been able to figure out is that it's a bag clip. Pops up like that. So it's just the head and then you pull it down and then you can see Darth Vader's feet. He has this fidget spinner, which I love these when I do space boxes because I think it looks like a planet. And then he has this pop it bracelet, wrist bracelet. Okay, this, along with the Darth Vader pop it toy, I have this puzzle, which I think is Probably the major wow in this box. This puzzle, I got it from Walgreens. I think it's a hundred piece puzzle. And it came in this metal tin. I just love this nice, this is really why I needed the bigger box. Uh, it has the original Star Wars characters on it. And then inside I tucked in some extra things because I had room. This is a little McDonald's toy. I think that's R2D2. A cross with some beads that I strung on some stretchy cord. A washcloth. And here's his puzzle pieces. I left them in their original packaging, um, but they did come in this tin box. But then I had room, so I tucked in some Star Wars characters. I have a couple of stormtroopers. He also has Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. He has some pieces of packaging so that he can read about Darth Vader. It's in several different languages, a description of Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Those two figures came in a set along with some other figures. I got a really fantastic deal on it at Walmart. I actually even took it to customer service and asked if they would sell it even at a steeper discount because there were a couple of pieces missing. It had Grogu and his spaceship, but a piece of the spaceship was missing. And then one of the characters was uh, missing a head 
I think, and maybe a cape. But it still came with several different characters. Um, I think it was originally 20-something. They had it marked down to 16-something. And I noticed it had been on the shelf for weeks and weeks and weeks and just wasn't moving. It was in the clearance section. So I took it to customer service and I told them, you know, I've had my eye on this for weeks and it's just not selling. Would you take $10 for it since it's been broken open and there's some pieces missing? And they did. So I think I ended up getting maybe eight uh, full-size intact characters in that box. To go along with this math kit, I thought maybe he might get some use out of graph paper. So I have this composition style notebook, but it has graph paper in it. And he has a regular notebook in here as well for his other school subjects. This is a really nice five star one. Then he has a Star Wars colorativity coloring book. I chose this one for this box because I liked that it had original characters. Um, it's a Christmas themed one. It says Troopin' Through the Snow on it. But it has some games and some more detailed pages. So I thought it would be good for a 10 to 14 year old. I added some coloring sheets from a Mandalorian coloring sheets book. They were just loose and so it was easy just to pick a few of them out and include those. And then I have this coloring sheet that I think I printed from a free coloring sheet website that's CP3O and R2D2. Couple more things here of socks that have Grogu on them and pink hearts. I think maybe these might have been girls' socks that came in a Valentine's themed package but I thought that they looked masculine enough for this box and are definitely big enough and who doesn't love a pink heart so he's got some Star Wars socks and he has this Star Wars shirt that has Darth Vader on it. I got this for a dollar at uh, Walmart. He has a comb and a tote bag that I got from Dollar Tree that has Star Wars robots on it, CP3O, R2D2, and this other robot that I don't know the name of. That's it, that's what I have in this young man's Star Wars themed shoebox. So thank you for tuning in. If you saw something you liked, I hope you'll you know, hit the like button. Maybe leave me a comment to share an idea or two. And also, if you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you subscribe. And so, I'll see you again soon. Bye, friends.